during our Meditation Monday segment, we learned about the benefits of yoga and how it can help you on your mindfulness journey. So this week, we're taking it a step further and we're learning more about a specific type of yoga and its overall benefits for your health. So let's say good morning to Nicole Walters joining us live. She is our certified yoga instructor and owner of Ahava Collective in Greensboro. You know her well, folks at home. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being with us. So let's talk about this term, trauma-informed yoga. Explain what this means. Yes, we hear it a lot or we might see it a lot. Um, and there's actually not that many studios locally that offer this environment. Um, but what trauma-informed means is um, it, it's the emphasis of reassurance, the empowerment of choice, um, and it's focusing less on the physical practice and more on tools for resilience and self-regulation to really help empower students to make choices specific to their experience and their bodies. So what is the difference between trauma-informed yoga and regular yoga classes? Right, so the difference between a, a trauma-informed studio, much like us, is you're gonna notice less directive cueing and more invitational cueing. And this is to help empower the student to choose shapes and postures that are more accessible and more comfortable for their body. And while there is gonna be, um, you know, cueing for proper alignment in order to prevent injury, there's gonna be more of an emphasis to pay attention to how you're connecting and feeling within your body during the practice and less on what you physically look like in the practice. Um, there's also a sense of, you know, you might call it a vibe, you know, there's sort of like a vibe set for a welcoming, calming environment. So, you know, we offer dim lighting. Um, we're very in tune with what the music selections are. We kind of, you know, get regular classes going and people will kind of know what to expect. Um, and things a bit consistent, right? So that helps students know what to expect. Um, but another one that's really big is th you're not going to get touched. So the teacher's not going to be walking around the room, staring at you, touching your body. There may be occasions when if we're using props, um, you may need some assistance and, you know, we can offer that, but no one's going to put their hands on you without your consent or being aware of that. Nicole, can you share some benefits of this type of practice? Yes. So the benefits of being in a trauma informed um, space is it improves your body mind connection. So I say it all the time. Our you know, body is always in the physical present moment. Right. But it's our mind that starts to go to all of these different places in the past and the future. So when we're offered a lot of choice and we're in a space that's encouraging and empowering, we're able to deepen that connection to our mind and our body. And ultimately we're able to tap more into that parasympathetic nervous system to regulate um, our emotions and have a deeper connection with what we're experiencing. And you know, I love that you said too, that the, one of the big differences is that you, they don't touch you because that is something that's so important. And you know, what other types of, of things and what, what's, what, how does this yoga class work at Ahava Collective? So at our studio specifically, um, we have, you know, a class every night. It's always at the same time. And you can expect each teacher to familiarize you with who they are, what to expect in class that night. So you're never going to walk into a class and somebody just completely, um, you know, sidetrack you with something you've never heard or seen before. So all of our teachers are very intentional about, you know, introducing themselves, letting you know what's going to happen in class tonight. And then what I really love about us at the collective is each and every class is ended with a sincere request to please give us feedback. Tell us about your experience here. And we let everyone know that your words and your experience matter to us. And in order for us to continue to learn and grow in how to serve our community better, 
you know, we welcome that conversation and feedback. And I would say that's probably what's helped us serve the most is people feeling comfortable and welcomed to share with us what's working and what's not working. That's so important. Thank you, Nicole, for your time this morning. As always, we appreciate you. And for everyone at home, if you enjoy Meditation Monday segments with Nicole, always follow along on her Instagram. Check out her website. The info information is on your screen now for more valuable information. <clears throat> All right, thanks again.